Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers City Series Deluxe Class B127. So, for his packaging, he got a nice picture of B127, more B127, Studio Series number 70, more B127, B127, Bumblebee Movie Transformers, barcodes and stuff, and his backdrop here is the battle on Cybertron, which looks really nice, yeah. Which is the same backdrop that I believe we got with Cliff Jumper and uh and Starscream. So yeah. Anyways, for the actual vehicle mode itself, it's casted in a really nice yellow plastic. I can definitely see how the mold was definitely more used for this one and this is a definitely definitely a huge improvement over cliff jumper so here we got front side top back bottom other side so for his transformation i like to start off by popping these out taking this popping it up and then Hinging it back. Hold on. And then untab this. Hinge that down. Take the arms. Fold them out. Then untab that. And now you can collapse all of the backpack into itself. Okay. I just... Flip the head out, then take the arms, hinge them out, that just tabs in, flip out these chest pieces, flip, fold that in, collapse that in, separate the legs, take this, hinge it back, the tire kind of just folds into the leg, flip, flip this little thingy down. And then this just hinges onto the leg. So it's the same on the other side. Hinge that around. Take that, fold it in. Okay, fold that panel down. Hinge this down. And here we have the Studio Series number 70 B127 in his robot mode. And it's pretty decent. I think it's better than cliff jumper and i will show him in the comparisons and you know the figure that i said i'd do a, rev a review of like seven months ago and i never did it so sorry well either way this is basically the same thing so anyways for his details he got a uh, sort of a gunmetal gray wash on the eyes we got a nice yellow matte finish paint on the chest here we got more yellow paint right here, and his feet are painted, like the yellows on here is painted, and the silver on here is painted. You got more of that gunmetal silver going down here. You got some mechanical details uh, on the ankles. You got more details around this area. Yeah, nice Autobot symbol on his forehead. You can barely tell it is, what it is, though. So, for his size comparisons, here he is with the Studio Series Cliff Jumper, and that looks pretty nice. You know, we're kind of expecting them to be the same mold anyway. You know. Well, anyways, it looks really nice. Here he is with Off Road B, and the really cool thing is, since they're basically uh, the same mold, what you can do is, so you can remove uh, Off-Road B's head. Hold on, let me get that. You can remove Off-Road B's head. You can remove uh, Cybertron B's head. And you can swap their heads, which is really cool in my opinion. So I guess they were kind of going with something when they decided to make these guys the same mold. So yeah, I think it would have been better if Off-Road B came with the battle mask instead of Cybertron B, since we saw Off-Road B battling Blitzwing, so he would have had the mask on, so. But something that I just realized I could probably do. Hold on. If I pop that off. You, you know where I'm going with this. 
<laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Hold on, let me actually try it with, uh, let me try it with this guy. Oh my god, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. All right, yeah, all right, these guys just go off to the side and pop his head back on. So he has a weapon. It's his little cannon. So for some details on his cannon, so it's right here is like a metallic gunmetal gray, and then at the tip right here, it's more of a silver, just regular. It could just go into his hand like that. Looks like it's actually coming out of his hand, which is a really cool detail that Hasbro did, but unfortunately it can't go on his other hand, so that's a bummer. Here's my review off of the Transformers TV series number 70, B127. If you want to see more, more reviews like this, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.